I'm Day, and here's my face. And now to the video. So uh, thank you so much for watching and coming back to do Inktober with me. It's so exciting to have you here. Um, so today is day six, and the prompt for day six is Husky. So here we are, just getting started to open. So I had no idea what to do for this. I thought of um, Husky puppies, uh, all kinds, I don't even know, like chubby tentacles. <gasps> oh, and then my light fell in the way, so that's what that was. Um, I thought of just so many things that were just like chubby or dog related and I couldn't think of anything. And then it was my husband who said, well, what's, what's the stuff around a corn? What do you do with like a corn on the cob? And I was like, oh, well, that's like the husk of a corn. So that was totally his idea and way more clever than I think I would have ever been on my own. So what we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is instead of corn, it's a tentacle. So I decided to do the dip pen. I really just enjoy using it. So I thought this, like, if you ever had corn on a cob, you know, like all the little hairs that come out of the top. Well, I thought that the dip pen would do a really good job at making tiny little hairs. So that was my original thought. So that's why I'm using the dip pen. And it just writes so nice. I feel like for a dip pen, and I don't know, you people that use them and know more about them, you tell me if I'm right or wrong. I felt like this particular nib held a decent amount of ink. I didn't feel like I was dipping constantly. So I thought that was a plus. Um, especially since I was going back and forth so much and doing so many little tiny lines. It seemed to last a long time. So... I really enjoyed it. Um, as I was using it, I started thinking, okay, it's wet ink. I have to erase my pencil lines. And then it was about when I was erasing the pencil lines, I think in a second, because um, I'm voicing this over, so I'm like watching it, is I started thinking, you know what would really make this more evident is color. So my original thought was to leave it alone and just leave it as a black and white and just do the ink because I really want to do something that is just the black ink. But when I looked at it, I'm like, I don't know if it's immediately obvious to me. So I went back to, if you watch my unboxing, my swatches, to look for the best colors. I wanted lighter colors, but these markers are pretty pigmented. Pigmented. So I tried to pick what I thought would be the best colors to represent corn and then the outside, the husk and everything. So I've got my light colors, what I think, well, as light as this box allows, which are still pretty, pretty vibrant. Um, and then I have uh, some darker colors to go in with shading. Because you can kind of build these markers, but if you've watched my other videos, you realize the times I build, I usually rip up the paper. So I didn't think I wanted to do that. So as I laid down the colors... I was pretty pleased. I think I'm getting better at using these markers. So I keep saying, is it operator error? Is it me? What is it? What am I doing? Um, but I think I'm getting better. I think it's a combination of the paper maybe um, with the markers being pretty juicy that if I lay too much down because they're water-based, um, it's just doing too much uh, liquid in the paper. It's like absorbing too much. The one thing I had to be really careful about is I let this ink dry um, cause I was like, oh, I'm going to like pull up all the ink. But if you remember, it is waterproof, which I realized a little bit later. So it was pretty good. And there we are dipping our pen and cleaning it up. So I think it came out pretty good. What do you think? Markers all dry. Not too shabby for day six. One more day. Tomorrow will be day seven. And that's a whole week of Inktober. I'm excited. So come back tomorrow. And if you haven't, Hit that bell icon. Bye.